chaos, the dark gods brought the realms to their knees. But as the age of Sigma dawned, the forces of order struck back, led by vengeful, storm-cast Eternals. The focal points of those first great battles were the magical portals known as Realm Gates, doorways through reality whose strategic value was immense. The Realm Gates were the only means by which warriors could pass from one realm to the next, and the largest could transport armies over vast distances in the blink of an eye. The forces of order wrested many of these portals from the iron grip of chaos, while the resurgent forces of death and destruction made their own gains as they marched out to battle afresh. The Realm Gate Wars, as they eventually came to be known, were anarchic and deadly. From them emerged countless tales of desperate heroism, cruel betrayal, and blood-drenched slaughter. Yet, through sheer valor, determination, and sacrifice, the forces of order sealed off several key portals to the all points, the chaos-dominated nexus of gates that allowed the dark gods to flood the mortal realms with armies of conquest. It was not, perhaps, the overwhelming victory that the forces of order sought against their foes, but it was at least a respite during which Sigmar's beleaguered forces could dig in, marshal their strength, and establish true bastions of order resurgent across the mortal realms. It was not long before the gods of chaos marshaled their forces anew. Their revenge, when it came, took many terrible forms, but none were more gruesome than that afflicted by Nurgle, the Chaos God of Plague and Pestilence, Entropy and Decay. His aspect is that of a putrid, fleshy mountain, bloated with corruption and riddled with blights. His realm is the rancid garden of Nurgle, wherein dwell a cornucopia of horrors, where hideous diseases sweep across the mortal realms, Nurgle's power swells, where rot and corrosion reduce order to ruin, the plague god's will is done. From Nurgle's rot, or the squirming box, or the grey weeping, the illnesses that Nurgle bestows bring misery and death equal to anything that the largest army could mete out. Yet Nurgle is no grim death dealer. Rather, he is a jovial and generous father figure who delights in brewing a never-ending stream of lovingly crafted plagues, and then bestowing them as dubious gifts upon the denizens of the realms. Nogal takes a paternal delight in the achievements of each new disease that he unleashes, just as he looks down doatingly upon the conquests wrought by his demon legions. He revels in the cycle of death and rebirth that sickness brings, merrily rooting for every new blight and parasite that infests the rotting corpses of the fallen. All this jollity makes it no easier for Nurgle's victims to face the nightmare horrors of his powers, of course. And nowhere are these manifestations more effective than on the battlefield. 
to wage war with the armies of Nurgle is to face droning clouds of insects that darken the skies, to endure flesh-withering sicknesses that spread as deadly and as fast as wildfire, and to stand against trudging masses of slime-spotted, copulent, festering demons whose only desire is to spread the endless plagues of their bloated god.